Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check it out, man. ATS-25. Boy, they've made a few versions of these now. This one is their newest one, the XS. And uh, there's a lot of extra doodads going on here. So we're going to take it out here. I'll talk about some of them. I think one of the coolest things it has is uh, it comes with a nifty stand now. So, well, let me just get it all out of the box. I'll show you what we've got. All righty. I'll put that on the floor for now. Okay, so the main radio is basically very similar to the ATS-25 Max. Similar size screen layout and so on and so forth. But, well, but you'll see here. Hold on. This is cool. It's got a cool stand for it. Right, so I can set this thing. There we go. Isn't that neat? So now we have a way to uh, kind of angle that thing the way we want it on our desk. I like that a lot. Also comes with some uh, different banded antennas, which I think is really cool too. So they've just been you know, SDR based radio, but they've been up in their game quite a bit. Donut AM antenna, and it's got a tuner. So think about that. The low side is 1,000 uh, kilohertz, and the high side is uh, 2,000 kilohertz. So AM radio, and we'll definitely play with that. I want to see how that works. The other one here is a shortwave antenna, again with a tuner, and it's covering from 24 megahertz to 12 megahertz. So uh, ON4 to 12. So we have a high and low switch there. Okay. Ah, I love what they do with stuff. It's just so cool. And in order to make that all work out, on the back here, if I'm going to take a close look at this here, on the back where, you know, it's battery powered, but it's USB charged, so it has a USB-C port. Our power on and off, our antenna, and a Wi-Fi. So it's got a Wi-Fi signal. And I'm not sure if that allows... Uh, updates through the air but i know that there's a, a recent update for this we'll get into here in a second that update is um really cool so it allows for slow scan television sstv as uh, as part of its update so right on right out of the unit you can do slow scan which i don't know like it's not a very popular right now but um i do think it's really cool so it's something that I, i'm kind of into Oops, a little too heavy with all that on there maybe there we go Okay, and then of course it comes with a little stylus for touching the buttons because it is hard to uh, get all that accurately. And then we have our user's manual. And so, um, oh, full color, that's nice. And it gets into a lot of stuff in the user's manual. Really small print, I'll have to put my better glasses on for that. But here's where, here's where we're going with this thing. So the big difference between the ATS-25, the ATS-25 Air, the ATS-25 Max, and this one is additional filtering. So uh, as far as receive goes, all those are okay radios. None of them are terrible, but they do tend to have a lot. They have good receive, but they tend to receive a lot of the garbage too. A lot of static, a lot of like LED light noise, that kind of stuff. So this one um, they claim has really cut down on that. And we're going to find out. We're going to plug it in here and get a little closer on the desk. And we're going to go just take a listen, see, see how well it sounds. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let me move the camera and myself around and we'll do that right now. Let's go. All righty. Well, we got this thing turned on, and you can see it's a beauty. Wow. So I have to be careful with copyright, but um, let me go up to a news channel. Okay, so right out of the gate, I got to say that the uh, the AM reception is much improved. Now, of course, some of that's going to have to do with the antenna, but it's pretty darn cool that it has that. Uh, I'm going to go back down and see if I can reach something. Let's go down and see if we can. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna rank the uh, I'm gonna rank the AM reception on this new model as excellent, far better I think than the the last model, the ATS 25 Max. I would say it's a lot better than that. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna swap the antenna out for the shortwave one, and we'll check out some of the stuff it does there. All right, I moved it over to the desk. I had to do some charging. It only came with a 7% charge. And I also switched over to the regular uh, antenna for this. I just want to try to make this as fair a fight as possible. Anyway, I've got uh, WTWW in Lebanon, Tennessee pulled up here. And it's it's coming in pretty good right now. If I can... Lebanon, Tennessee, United States of America. You can send your reception reports to WTWW. All right, so let's take a few minutes and just go over some of the cool stuff this can do. The biggest thing I want you to think about with a radio like this is um, this, this mode select. Right, we're in here in AM mode. That's fine and dandy. Well, well let's get out of here. We'll get back into that. And um, what we can get into if we get up into different areas here is there's a lot of other modes. Let me get into, I'll just, I'll make it 10, 1, 2, oh, I believe that's a digital area, isn't it? It's been a while. So now let's take a look and see what modes are available. Yeah, here we go. So we still have our AM, upper side band, lower side AM, but we have a CW, digital, regular CW and NFM, but we go to digital. We have PSK, FT4, FTS, SSTV, slow scan TV, RTTY, hell, and RTTYU. So I don't know of anybody broadcasting or I would show you some of these cool things, but I mean, it's ready. It's ready to do that. You've got the decoder there and uh, you can hit start on that and let it roll through and it'll actually produce the image right on this thing, which I think is really, really cool. So when it comes to new features, that's probably the big one, uh, other than obviously the additional filtering. I'll get out of that for right now, but just I just had to show you that. And so, you know, if you're not familiar with these, you go to band and you have pretty much every band you want. You have your uh, terrestrial FM, long wave, mid wave, and HF. And then you have your ham bands and CB band in there as well. So I can pick, uh, you know, and go right to it, right? And then we can change our mode if needed, right? And we're going to stay with AM right now, but we can direct entry frequency. And you can punch it in like 7490 WBCQ there, right? We can change the step around. Leave that be. So if we want to make adjustments, we can make them finer coarse. We have the ham bands here listed right there. And we also have CB, and you can go right into CB. And, it, and you can even go into channel mode where it shows you that as well. So automatic gain control, attenuation, and um, we got mute and volume, obviously. So changing, or that's our attenuation, let me get out of that. So volume can be controlled here. Press the button and we're back over there. So let's, let's get out of here, hold on a second. All right, so I can change the channel. Then I can press that, raise and lower the volume. So it's kind of intuitive as far as as far as I'm concerned, anyway. All right, so then we got the up, down, and scan. If you want to do it manually, we can change our backlighting here. Right, the brightness we could change that if we want to dim it down some. I'm leaving it up here for this. Setup gives us a ton of information. I'm not all of it's all that important, but it gives us the uh, software build 4.2, and uh, and it involves slow scan television, which is really cool. All right, then we get channel mode here, and again, I can go in CB channel mode, and now I've now I'm at you know AM. I can change the the mode if I want to, which I think that's kind of cool as well. All right, we got a retro look to it. This is, uh, I, I remember this on the other one here. So it's kind of like just scrolling through an old manual dial, which is cool to some extent. I think that's pretty neat. And it even shows like the bands. If you, and It may be hard for you to see, but here comes the 10 meter. And then we have C, CW digital modes here. 
right? So I think that's pretty cool. Then FM mode and RDS, so we can get information here. Now, what else does this thing do? Uh, it also will decode, like I said, Morse code and the digital codes and stuff too. And uh, I made a video uh, a couple of years ago of it doing just that. It was decoding Morse code, which was really neat to see that. And it was just pushing it right along the screen there. So I think that's pretty cool as well. Look, this is uh, the, the newest in a series of radios from these guys. It's SDR, you know, software-defined radio-based equipment. Every time they put one of these things out, it's a, it's a better product than the last. And this one, adding those extra features seems to be right up along the line. I'll say with using the, uh, the antenna for AM, holy cow, was it really an improvement? And I'm, I'm like, I think that's uh, right up there with some of the best AM receivers that I've ever tried here on the channel so that's really neat and of course there's stuff that i haven't covered in here that this can do this is like a hacker's radio you know it's like the dream radio for people who like to petter around you can hook this thing up to your computer you can uh bluetooth to this you can use wi-fi with this and so there's a lot of ways to access the this this information other than using the little box here there's just ways for you to get in and out of it so it's really cool and the stand i'm going to fade back here a little bit it might be a little harder to see but the stand is really a cool feature. I know there's been some 3D printed ones available. I almost bought one. But I do like the stand on this. I think it gives it that extra. Because it makes it just, you can put it at a good height for you. You know, I see that be cool would be to mount that on a uh, in a camper. An RV or in a, in a camper van, something like that. And so it may end up being there in my, my property at some point. Anyway, I'll leave a link to where you can get one of these things. And I'll see you next time. Take care.